Prime Minister Thong Lun Si Sulit outlined six targets under the ninth socio-economic development plan for 2021 to 25. When speaking at the 11th Party Congress in Vientiane on Wednesday, January the 13th, he detailed each of the targets, especially the goal of quality, stable, and sustainable economic growth. <laughs> Six major socio-economic development targets discussed at the 11th Party Congress. Prime Minister Thong Lun Si Sulit detailed each of the targets, especially the goals of quality, stable and sustainable economic growth. The first goal is for Laos to maintain steady economic growth and quality, stability and sustainability. Secondly, training will be stepped up to ensure people are better qualified to meet the demands of development are able to conduct research and know how to use science and technology to add value to goods and services. Third, it is essential to improve people's living conditions. Balancing environmental needs with a reduced risk of natural disaster is the fourth goal. Fifth, the government will work to strengthen infrastructure and effectively utilize potential, opportunities, locations and participating regional and international cooperation and integration. The sixth goal is to enhance the efficiency of state management and administration so that equality, justice and order prevail in society and people receive protection through the enforcement of laws. His reports outline various plans such as revenue collection and expenditure and improvement of the business and investment environments of state-owned enterprises. SME promotion, management of foreign currencies and money flow exchange rates, including sourcing domestic and foreign investment. Under the plan, in the next five years, economic growth is projected to grow at 4% annually. The value of gross domestic product is 1,057,689 billion GB within five years and the goal of for annual average per capita income is 2,887 US dollars in 2025. The Prime Minister said the government also plans to encourage domestic and foreign investors to carry out large-scale projects. The deficit between income and expenditure is expected to be 21,000 billion GB or 2% of GDP. The government will place importance on stabilizing foreign currency exchange rates and the management of inflation. The inflation rate will be kept at maximum of 6% while fluctuations in currency exchanges rates should not be more or less than 5%. The government will ensure that foreign currency reserves are sufficient to buy imports for a period of no less than three months and will do its best to maintain money flow at a rate not exceeding 20% per year. Investment will be obtained from various sources to support all forms of development and account for 19.6% of GDP. Of this, investment from budgetary sources will account for 10 to 11 percent. 11.7 percent will come from official development assistance, at least 48 percent will come from foreign direct investment, and about 24 percent will come from other funding sources.